Today is so exciting just to see all these theater artists here that I respect, that I love. To be one of them and among them just makes me feel amazing. And then this nomination in particular, that it's for a musical, that it's for this story that is so important that I find very healing and important for audiences means so much to me. And the fact that it's a musical, that's like the first thing I did as a kid in the theater and then I went away from doing musicals. And so the fact that it's for this form, this like very American form means so much to me. Tell me what the book meant to you first. Well, I never read the book as a kid. So the musical came to me, Adam Rapp told me about it after he saw a play I directed called Passover and I read the script and then I read the book and I read the book in one sitting and I cried my eyes out and I felt so connected to Pony Boy and also to Susie Hinton and her gaze on these characters and its authenticity, the fact that it felt juvenile and young and real and I wanted to bring that, that feeling to the stage and make sure that we kept the musical really authentic to the grit the honesty, the brutality, and the tenderness of the book. It's a stunning musical Thank all you. across the board. Everything about this musical is. Thank what you. unlocked it for you? I think what unlocked it was partially my collaboration with Rick and Jeff Cooperman, the choreographers. I think that the way the three of us work is the collaboration of a lifetime. I know that it's just the first of many for us, but I think what unlocked is when I discovered that the design of it wanted to be through the bodies and the way these young people move together and the way that violence is expressed in the piece. We didn't want to make it hyper-realistic. We wanted to make it expressive and emotional and deeply sensual. Um, and I think that really unlocked the storytelling for us.